What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover a dry suit that I've been using for around about maybe a month now. Finally got down cold enough to use this dry suit, so I got to put it like on the river, trying it out. I jumped in, I swam around in it. I know I don't swim that much, but you know what? For you guys, I did swim around in this dry suit and it was extremely dry. I was swimming around, I could feel, I felt no water coming in at all. I could feel the pressure of the water, but I didn't feel any water coming in which is always a good thing when it comes to a dry suit I wanted to go over some of the features of this dry suit recommended uses are whitewater fishing and touring you could use it for wreck boating and all around paddling whatever and it's coming this one has their exhaust 3.0 which is level 6 proprietary like waterproof material it's a nylon base it is not Gore-Tex overall I think it's extremely well made what they've done they've added Cordura shielding in the areas like the shoulders where you would carry your kayak or where you take some impact the elbows so there's it's around the elbows goes all the way down on the elbows rolling it over here looking at the backside look how much is covered over the the seat of it and the knees you can see it's right here on the kneecaps too. You know, it's got a neck gasket here, wrist gaskets here, which I do, I did put some 303 on them. It does have Velcro on the neck and Velcro on the wrist, Velcro on the ankles here, and it has like a booty built into it, which you could wear a sock on or you could wear under. I usually run a thermal type um, warm, like smart wool sock on the inside with my Astral shoes. I run a shoe on the outside and it's an oversized shoe so you know what it is what it is on that and check out what they've done instead of like a little fabric loop they actually did like it looks like a hypalon type material into a rivet into a like a like a t-grip grab right here so it's a ykk zipper that is very high quality zipper they have stitched this zipper in and then taped the back side and it runs exactly all the way the length of the entire shoulders right here you can see how big and wide open this is a rear entry dry suit which is my favorite i do not like the zipper in the front let's zip it up real quick my complaints about this i'd like to see this little flap i do like that they have a flap to protect over the zipper but i would like to see it longer and deeper with some velcro on it to hold it down because it just kind of flaps around right there but you know what at least they did add it a lot of manufacturers don't even have any type of protection of your zipper to break it off right there but look how nicely zipped that that clean how clean that zipper is going over it a couple of things there's little drainages right here i noticed they did add little drainages right there there there's a stash pocket that's up in here. You can see the little stash pocket down in there. Fleece lined pocket in the front for putting your hands. Me personally, I don't see myself ever using that because my life vest, I use an astral green jacket and I have the pockets and the hand warmer on it. So a lot of times you're gonna be wearing a dry, a um, life vest everywhere, but not all, not all dry um, life vests have that pocket so to heat your hands up. So I do like the fact that they added it. They do have their stealth waistband, tightens up extremely tight goes all the way around drainage right here for the pockets you can see the little drainage hole there and there open it up here you can see it has a cinch down for the waist it does have this thing to cinch the waist down and why is this really important what i like about having this cinch is you can cinch it down roll your dry suit down while you're dry, uh, running shuttle or hiking a run or something and the dry suit doesn't end up around your ankles because it's tight around the waist a lot of manufacturers don't have that i highly recommend this i like that feature it, it's solid and sewn in relief zipper another ykk zipper for the men's the women's will have it in the back if you went with the women's version of this they've got reflective layering around the edges there reflective layering around there so you would be able to see this if the light hits it at night for those maybe um maybe if you're stranded on a run and you need to get off a run you can see how big this covering of this kodori is on the kneecap and look what they did they actually sectioned it off so that you would bend the knee so you'd get no restriction in the knee that's nice 
And the, just to go on that, one of the, the best features about this thing, it was cut very well for setting in a kayak and leaning forward, leaning back. I felt no restriction on that. Feeling of it, it is, feels extremely durable. That's one thing, it's a heavy dry suit, so it's not light. I did sweat in this thing because I got so hot and so warm in it, so I had a little bit of moisture build out, but it wasn't crazy. I thought it was fine. I was out, it got down really cold. I was paddling in cold weather. The colder, the better in this thing is my opinion it's got some neoprene right there for holding on to the tunnel of your skirt and, and as far as sizing mine's a large and I usually run between a medium and large there is a size chart on level 6 website where you can kind of go over the sizing and a size chart the layer that I run is the the level 6 Vulcan like under layer and it has a zipper that goes from the bottom so it's a relief zipper down here and it comes down from the top. So it's top and bottom zipper. So it zips wide open, small little pocket here because this can be used as just kind of like around the camp or as an under layer. I really like this thing. It actually runs really warm. This thing's extremely warm. So when you order it, you'll get it in the box like this right here. They do not add any type of plastic. Level six is definitely on top of like being a sustainable company. I do like the fact that they just used a cardboard box wrapped in this type of material, which is a top of um, paper top material. It does have a lifetime guarantee, check that out. Level six runs a lifetime guarantee um, outside normal wear and tear on their product. They do give you a little little patch if you ever have to patch it there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Waterproof breathable fabric patch, ain't that cool? Look at that. So yeah, if you ever have any problems, level six will take care of you. And as far as like socks, I just have like a type of like smart wool thermal socks that I put on the inside of the booty. And I have the over sized I've got these in like a larger size these are the astral mesh the tr1 mesh I really like these highly recommend these two very comfortable they drain extremely well for me it's my entire setup right there as far as my cold weather paddling if you're going to be paddling during the winter don't try to go cheap on this gear because it can you know obviously hypothermia is a real thing and it can cause some problems so you definitely want to have the best gear possible in the event of a swim or you have to hike out of a run or you might have to stay the night in a run i would sleep in this stuff i don't know about you guys but i'd be fine that's all i got today guys on the level six emperor the level six vulcan uh under layer and my you know my astral mesh tr1s check those things out i'll leave links below where you could pick up this whole system right here what do they say here we'll see you on the water so i will uh see you guys on the water thanks for watching and i will catch you next time Woo!